Thanks to Indiana Jones, the world seems to have a pretty warped view of archaeologists. In reality, they're not all whip lovers. They don't all have problems with their dads. Well, some of them don't, but they all do have one thing in common. They love to find unusual stuff. From a lost city to a brand new set of scrolls, let's travel the world to find the 20 most bizarre recent archaeological discoveries. <sighs> Number 20. The Lost Golden City Anybody that's ever watched an Indiana Jones movie will know all about the thrill of somebody discovering something said to be lost for centuries, but when it's a whole city, and a golden one at that, you really have to sit up and take note. Within a few weeks of the excavation starting in September 2020, Egyptologist Sahi Hawass and his team unearthed the 3,000-year-old city once lost to the sands of Egypt. Egyptian archaeologist Sahi Hawass called the find at a 10 the largest ancient city ever uncovered in Egypt, which is a bold statement since Egypt seems to be full of lost ancient cities. Some even say it could be one of the most important archaeological finds since King Tut's tomb. According to experts, the city was founded during the reign of Amenhotep III between 1391 and 1353 BC, one of ancient Egypt's most powerful pharaohs. Pharaohs I and Tutankhamun continued to use the city for some kind of purpose. According to Hawass, the city was once known as the Golden City, which presumably explains why the rulers of Egypt would go there so often. Nothing like a bit of glittering wealth and chronic inequality to bring out the elite and entitled A. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. And this is a doozy. An archaeologist discovers what no one was supposed to see. According to this guy, he was exploring the wilderness of Central America when he found this. The archaeologist claims the structure is an ancient portal, round in shape, and composed of mechanical parts. The guy also says that there are strange markings on the door that no one can decipher. But it gets weirder. The discovery has baffled the scientific community because, according to age estimates, the portal is older than humanity itself. So nobody knows how it works or what it does, but its existence shouldn't be cause for concern. The archaeologist says that the portal is dormant and hasn't been used for years. What do you think? Should we be concerned about a pre-human time travel machine, or is it just some weird tourist trap? As always, comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic, and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 19. New Dead Sea Scrolls the Dead Sea Scrolls have long been an item of fascination for archaeologists and history buffs around the world. I mean, come on, if you found a collection of abandoned scrolls and jars, I'm pretty confident you'd drop everything to figure it all out too, right? Right? Uh, okay, maybe not everybody is as irresponsible as me, I... Uh, I get it. For the first time in 60 years, archaeologists discovered a new fragment of the Dead Sea Scrolls. For those of you who don't know, the Dead Sea Scrolls were a treasure trove of ancient Jewish and Hebrew religious manuscripts found in the Qumran Caves in the 1940s. According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, the newly discovered scrolls written in Greek is a missing part of the book of the Twelve Minor Prophets first discovered in 1961. The mystery deepens. It's not yet clear what this new find means for the world at large, however, some archaeologists believe it could help to shape our understanding of the evolution of the Bible. These scrolls 
scrolls contain so much information about what early humans believed, it would be fascinating to see how different or similar it is to our more modern holy book. Also, it's just nice to see scrolls again. Let's bring them back. Number 18. Sulawesi Cave Painting Cave paintings are so 66 BC, but that doesn't mean they're entirely out of favor or trend. There are many people who will get very excited to find a brand new cave painting, especially if it dates back for, I don't know, 50,000 years. People will pay a fortune for a banana taped to a wall. Imagine what they'll pay for a piece of history. I doubt it'll be as much. That's depressing. In 2017, doctoral student Basran Burhan was part of an archaeological team carrying out surveys with Indonesian authorities in Sulawesi. Burhan and his team hiked for several hours to reach Liang Tadanga Cave, located in a remote valley surrounded by sheer limestone cliffs. Within the cave, archaeologists discovered the world's oldest known cave painting, made in Indonesia at least 45 5,500 years ago. The picture depicts a wild pig of some kind, likely something the artist painted from memory instead of a still life. Experts believe the painting might be one of the earliest pieces of evidence of human settlement in the region. Okay, so early humans were not Bob Ross, but we can't hold that against them. They were just using the tools they had available at the time. That said, if Bob Ross wanted to paint a happy little wild pig on a cave wall of burnt sienna, I would absolutely be down for that. Number 17. Ancient Non-Binary Person some people seem to think that non-binary identification is an exclusively 21st century thing. Those people would be wrong. People have been identifying as non-binary for distinctly longer than the 21st century, and now we have proof. You may be shocked by this one. In 1968, a group of Finnish builders digging a foundation for a new building in Hatsula found a strange grave. It contained jewelry oval brooches and fragments of woolen clothing, suggesting the deceased was dressed in a typical feminine costume of the era. But the grave also held a hiltless sword placed at the left side of the individual and a second sword, probably added later, buried above, which implied a male identity. Obviously, that would be a confusing sight to anybody in the 1960s, but modern analysis has shown that the grave belongs to a high-status, non-binary person from the Iron Age. And it seems that non-binary people People once were not only accepted but respected members of their communities. Good for them. Clearly this is proof that non-binary people have always existed and at least throughout history, they've been treated just as well as non-non-binary people. In fact, according to this, they were able to reach the top of the social ladder just like everybody else. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Number 16. 7,000-year-old gate. Ah, technology. It's given us the gift of international connection, the knowledge of everything in human history, and Google Earth. What would we do without Google Earth? Apparently, we'd miss out on a heck of a lot of discoveries, that's for damn sure. Seems like many expert archaeologists spend their work hours on Google Earth. Man, a modern-day Indiana Jones would really suck, wouldn't it? With the aid of Google Earth, researchers examining the Arabian Desert discovered over 400 previously unreported stone structures built by nomadic tribes thousands of years ago. The structures have come to be known as gates because they resemble field gates when looked at from above. Most of the gates were found in groups in Harat Kebar, an area known for its now extinct volcanic domes. Researchers aren't sure how ancient the structures are or what they were used for, but they got to use Google Earth in work hours, so I'm sure they're happy. All things considered, it is a little bit of both a triumph and a disappointment. You have an incredible 
little discovery here, but you also have the realization that nobody actually understands anything we're looking at, which is really my life in a nutshell. Number 15. Near Complete Mammoth Skeleton when you think about all the mammoth remains, fossils, and skeletons that have been found over the years, your mind generally tends to wander toward Russia. Not today, my friends. No, not today. We're heading somewhere a little… Eh, friendlier. James Bristol and his buddy were digging in his southern Michigan soybean field when they unearthed an object that looked like a fence post. Curved and covered in mud, the men were shocked to learn they had actually discovered a 15,000-year-old pelvis from an ancient woolly mammoth. Well, it's a bonding exercise, I guess. University of Michigan paleontologists used an excavator to recover 20% of the animal skeleton in the field. Besides a pelvis, they found the skull, two tusks, numerous vertebrae, ribs, and both shoulder blades. Archaeologists have speculated that humans were at the site and may have butchered and stored the mammoth meat so that they could return for it later. <laughs> kind of like dogs burying bones. All joking aside, the find was truly incredible. These kinds of near-complete remains are typically uncovered in the permafrost of Siberia, and yet, here we are, uncovering the bones and remains of a long-dead mammoth. It's like a very, very depressing sequel to Ice Age. Number 14. Stonehenge 2 for centuries now, people have been totally confused by Stonehenge. What is it, and why is it? Okay, so we don't have the answers for you on that one, but we do have another mystery to complicate the first mystery, but also open up another mystery. That's confusing, but we'll push forward. You ready for this? There's a second Stonehenge. In 2020, archaeologists were astonished to discover a circle of deep shafts near Stonehenge, which they described as the largest prehistoric structure ever found in Britain. About 4,500 years ago, the people who built Stonehenge also dug a series of shafts aligned to form a circle spanning 1.2 miles. The structure's purpose may have been to guide people to the Durrington Walls, Britain's largest henge monument, which lies precisely in the middle of the design. As for the experts, key researchers studying Stonehenge were stunned to find that a larger, previously undiscovered structure was located just 1.9 miles from Stonehenge itself. So much for experts, eh? All things considered, this one may be even stranger than Stonehenge. Why the heck is it here? What's its purpose? How was it built? All very good questions, that'll go unanswered. I mean, come on, if they didn't know it existed, they're not gonna know any of that, right? Number 13. Tomb of Asilla Princess when you find the tomb of a long-dead princess, you have to get a little excited. I know, we've all seen the mummy. We know how dangerous this can be, but if you can get past the risk of a potential long-term curse and or death, it's a very exciting situation to be in. In 57 BC, Bakyokios of Silla founded the Kingdom of Silla one of the three kingdoms of Korea. Silla finally fell in 935 AD, under the reign of King Gyeongsun. But the legacy remains. Archaeologists began excavations in South Korea in 2014 after identifying a 5th century tomb in a large burial mound containing a stone-piled wooden chamber. Years later in 2020, archaeologists found hundreds of goods stored within the tomb, which was found to belong to a Silla princess buried in the city of Gyeongju. The finds include a gilt bronze crown, gold chest ornaments, gold earrings, and pendants, gilt bronze ornaments, gold and silver bracelets, an ornamental silver knife, and hundreds of stones from the strategy board game Baduk, also known as Go. Depending on your beliefs, you can look at this as either an ancient tradition of the Silla people or a perfect example of a hoarder. I mean, it's really your call. But the the board game makes me think she just couldn't toss the stuff. Number 12. Painted Coffins 
Here's a question, why does nobody paint their coffin? I mean, think about it, everybody has the same one. Nobody has a colorful, bright coffin to send them off into the afterlife. Well, while we don't do it, it seems the ancient Egyptians certainly did. They painted theirs. In 2020, archaeologists unearthed more than 100 painted sarcophagi in Saqqara, an ancient burial ground south of Cairo. The discovery came shortly after the unearthing of 59 sealed coffins, which seems risky if only for the smell. Dating back at least 2,000 years, the coffins were discovered in three 36-foot deep shafts with most coming from the Late Period and the Ptolemaic Period between 664 and 30 BCE. The sarcophagi were decorated with intricate carvings, paintings, hieroglyphics, and the mummies were perfectly preserved. But that's not all. The archaeologists also discovered other treasures, including masks, amulets, canopic jars, and over 40 gilded funerary statues. So in essence, this discovery was kinda like the world's most depressing yard sale, but instead of buying abandoned toys from an unhappy mother, you're buying junk from dead mummies. I'll be honest, if it was on TV, I'd watch it, but I probably wouldn't enjoy it. Number 11. Ancient String Sometimes when you ask someone how long something will take, they'll give you a very sarcastic response. How long is a piece of string? It's a way of saying, I don't know. Well, the correct response to the question would be, it's as long as the Neanderthals make it. It's a great burn, yeah, but it's also very rooted in fact. In a rock shelter in France, archaeologists discovered the world's oldest piece of string made by Neanderthal man from bark 50,000 years ago, just over two-tenths of an inch long. The tiny fragment suggests that Neanderthals had extensive knowledge of trees and understood how to make a string that would hold under tension. The discovery also suggests the ancient Neanderthals mastered primitive technologies, paving the way for our modern ease of life. So yes, a string is as long as the Neanderthals made it, which in this case is pretty short. But don't let that distract you from using one of the greatest fact-based burns of the past five minutes. It will absolutely be worth it to see the look on their face, or more realistically, the back of their head. I imagine you'll get a lot of people walking away. Number 10. Ancient Chinese Tombs if we've learned anything from today, it's that archaeology is nothing like the action-packed adventures you'd see in Indiana Jones or Tomb Raider. It's a lot quieter, more introspective, and you occasionally have to inspect poop. But sometimes, you do get to venture into a tomb. Does it have traps? I don't know, man. Probably not, though. In 2020, archaeologists excavating in Chengdu, Shizhuan province, unearthed over 6,000 tombs dating from more than 2,000 years. Actually, excavations began in 2015, but results were not made public until 2020. The tombs were discovered by construction workers who were busy building a tech park, and they apparently date back to various ancient dynasties. Most of the tombs are carved into a small cliff face or constructed from brick, and archaeologists found they contained tens of thousands of artifacts and and cultural relics. Researchers believe the tombs will help them better understand funeral rituals, behaviors, and concepts in the era of the Han Dynasty and Three Kingdoms. As far as my research could tell me, there were no traps hidden within the tomb, which is either a great relief or very disappointing, depending on where you sit on the psychopath scale. Number 9. Neanderthal Remains we as a human race have lived now for a very long time, which means it's time to ask the big question, my friends. Are we surrounded by Neanderthals? And by that, I'm talking specifically about the remains of Neanderthals, and not your friend Tom. Although it's a fair question. In 2021, archaeologists in Italy unearthed the bones of nine Neanderthals. In 2021, archaeologists in Italy unearthed the bones of nine Neanderthals in 
including skull fragments and broken jawbones, in the Guatari Cave in the coastal town of San Feliz. The most recent remains date to 50,000 years ago, while the oldest date back as far as 90,000 or 100,000 years. Okay, so it probably doesn't have anything to do with Tom. The archaeologists who unearthed the remains said they belong to seven adult males, one woman, and one young boy. Experts have suggested that ancient humans may have been slaughtered by hyenas and dragged back to their cave dens as food by the scavengers. Avengers, that's a very different version of the Lion King. This is yet more proof that early life sucked. I mean, we have it very lucky, don't we? When was the last time you were almost murdered by a hyena? I'm guessing it wasn't all that recent, if at all. Number 8. Dinosaur Fossil the further along this universal timeline we get, the more likely it seems that a Jurassic Park type event will eventually come to fruition, especially since scientists continue to find more and more remains of these ancient prehistoric creatures, and this one is a pretty huge find. Literally. In 2021, Chinese paleontologists unearthed the fossilized remains of a dinosaur from the Jurassic period in Lufang, southwest China. The fossil was about 70% complete belonging to a dinosaur that researchers estimate would have been around 26 feet long. The fossil was found in soil dating back 180 million years, and it gets crazier based on its tail and thigh bones. The newly discovered dinosaur appears to be a type of giant Lufangosaurus, which lived during the early Jurassic period. Fortunately for us, the Lufangosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur, so it likely wouldn't have caused us any harm. Well, maybe vegans would be in trouble for taking their food. Uh, dinosaur fossils are not new, of course. Archaeologists have been finding them for centuries, but it's still pretty awesome to get to find one that's so huge, and yet not necessarily willing to murder all of humanity to survive, maybe the Jurassic Park future won't be so bad. I'm kidding. Of course we're all screwed. Number 7. 2000 Year Old Mosaic Art, it's timeless, it's creative, it's a real expression of the human existence, and if you do it right, it will truly stand the test of time. Case in point, this incredible mosaic found in the United Kingdom. Its author is unknown, but again, it's not a banana taped to a wall, so we actually have a reason to appreciate this one. Archaeologists in Berkshire uncovered a mosaic of a mythical chariot race. And as it turns out, it may well be one of Britain's most exciting archaeological discoveries in recent years. This mosaic shows a chariot race involving Pelops, a Greek mythological figure, racing to win the hand of his love interest, Princess Hippodamia. Archaeologists found the 1,600-year-old mosaic in Boxford in 2017, but only recently unveiled its full beauty. They now say it's one of only three of its kind in the world. I mean, so is the banana, but... So yes, not much is known about this particular piece of art, but I think we can all agree that it's a beautiful find, and I'm sure that if the owners ever decide to sell it, they can look forward to getting a heck of a lot of money for it. Tape a banana to that bad boy. You've doubled your money. Number 6. Europe's Oldest 3D Map Long before Google Earth, the only way to have a 3D map was to make a 3D map. I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? But how the heck do you make a 3D map without the use of the internet or a 3D printer, you're probably asking? Excellent question. The answer is you carve it out of a big piece of rock. No, I'm not kidding. Ancient carpal tunnel syndrome must have been excruciating. Researchers found what may be the oldest three-dimensional map in Europe on an unearthed Bronze Age stone. The 5 by 6.5 feet 
slab, first uncovered in 1900 and recently recovered, was found buried in a cellar in a French castle. A team of archaeologists determined that the markings on a 4,000-year-old stone may have been a map of an area in western Brittany. This makes the slab the earliest known 3D map of a recognized area in Europe. The more you know, eh? There's no way to know if this was helpful to people back in the day, although given how little they had back then compared to our modern amenities, it probably was helpful. Now we just have to wait and see how they did flight simulators in the 1400s. Number 5. Teotihuacan Replica Settlement Ancient Maya culture is fascinating. Of course, we all know about the wild 2012 theories and all that stuff, but even now we're finding out more and more things that deepen our understanding of this once prosperous and curious empire. Like, oh, I don't know, an entire replicated settlement hidden within a hill. It's like the Teletubbies. In 2021, archaeologists announced the discovery of an entirely new neighborhood in the ancient Maya Maya city of Tikal, the site in present-day Guatemala, has been thoroughly excavated for the last 50 years, but a new study reveals a crucial lost section of the city. Using the light detection and ranging software known as LIDAR, researchers detected an unusual structure in what they had originally thought was a hill. Again, tell me this is not exactly like the Teletubbies. To the archaeologists' surprise, the uncovered structures resemble a small scale version of the citadel in the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Yes, the big twist in the story is that the Maya were not just incredible at building their culture and empire, they were also very much into model making and crafts. Just imagine how wide their empire would be spread in the era of Etsy. They'd make a fortune! Number 4. Oldest Human Footprints so we know that humans have been on this earth for a very long time. And we know that, in that time, humans have been traveling just about everywhere, mostly on foot, so it stands to reason that somewhere you could find the oldest human footprints. Spoiler alert, they don't wear designer sneakers. Just to get the disappointment out of the way. Evidence found in New Mexico proves that humans were making long walks across North America around 23,000 years ago. In 2009, a park manager found the fossilized footprints in a dry lake bed at White Sands National Park. Scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey analyzed the seeds found within the ancient footprints to determine their age. The oldest seed was approximately 22,800 years old, the youngest approximately 21,130 years old. Because most scientists believe ancient humans migrated via a now-submerged land bridge connecting Asia and Alaska, the date of this event can give us a better sense of when they crossed North America. For those who don't understand the significance of this find, we're looking at potentially one of the earliest international tracks. If you traced it all back, this is likely how our ancestors first began crossing continents. And this was before the Trivago woman existed. Number 3. Amber Snake and so we return to the terrifying specter of a future Jurassic Park-shaped disaster. This time, though, we actually have credible reason to be concerned, because not too long ago, scientists discovered the fossil of a creature preserved in amber. And anybody that's seen the movie knows exactly what that means. Bad stuff! In 2018, scientists discovered the world's oldest known fossilized baby snake in Myanmar. This baby snake was found preserved in amber, tree resin that hardened almost a hundred million years ago. That means the new species, Shalfis myanmarensis, lived millions of years before Tyrannosaurus rex walked the earth. The discovery suggests snakes were more ecologically diverse than previously thought, especially as the amber fragment provides additional unexpected insights about its environment. You see, it's not just the snake inside the amber. Encased within the amber are also a few other insects and plants, confirming that this is the first fossil snake found to have lived in a forest. 
Interesting. Okay, so in a hypothetical Jurassic Park type scenario, bringing back this specific baby snake probably wouldn't lead to complete carnage and collapse, but it also wouldn't be a good experience, right? I mean, you're still looking at messing with things that nobody understands. It's a slippery slope. We should have known trouble was coming when they rebooted Baywatch. Number 2. Golden Mask in the classic movie The Mask, Jim Carrey turns into a wild green cartoon whenever he wears a strange wooden mask. Now, I have no way of knowing if the ancient Chinese people believe a similar story, which means I can just wildly make assumptions about this next find, and believe me, I will. In 2021, archaeologists uncovered a golden mask in the number 5 sacrificial pit of the Sangxi Dui ruin site in southwest China. The site at Sangxi Dui has yielded thousands of ancient relics since a local farmer stumbled across it in the 1920s. And while the number 5 pit is the smallest one, it's apparently the pit with the most gold unearthed. The mask weighs about 100 grams, or 0.22 pounds, and experts believe it likely would have been part of a larger bronze head back in the late Shang Dynasty. That places it around 1200 BC or so. But again, nobody tried it on, so we can't rule out the idea of Carrie style zaniness. It's really not uncommon to find these kinds of glamorous treasures in China. The country seems to be full of valuable artifacts dating back to the country's most celebrated dynasties and eras. Could they turn you into a wild green cartoon character? We'll never know until we try. Number 1. Sea Dragon do you believe in dragons, my friends? In this modern world, most people would quickly say no and move on. Well, that would be one heck of a mistake because as it turns out, dragons do exist, and it's just that they're, uh, well, they're underwater, apparently. In February 2021, at the Rutland Water National Reserve in Rutland, England, Joe Davis, the team leader of the reserve staff, drained the water in the lagoon for maintenance, only to spot weird vertebrae in the mud. Upon closer inspection, scientists saw that it was not just a skeleton or a few bones, it was a fossil. A fossil of the biggest and most complete ichthyosaur in UK history, the long-extinct reptile, also known as the sea dragon, lived alongside dinosaurs around 180 million years ago during the Jurassic period. The previous remains found in the UK were nowhere near as complete and large as this discovery, so Joe Davis just became a very special person. So yeah, I guess if you're going to look at life through a logical lens, there's no such thing as dragons. But if you're willing to go through history and look at every single fossil found, you may be surprised. If you open your mind, you find great things. You also feel the cold wind on your brain, so I wouldn't recommend recommend it. Which do you think is the wildest or weirdest fossil of all? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time!